Salutations, this is Crazed Kitsun, aka Kuma Z Tayun, and welcome to Red Mage for Dummies, level 60. In this video, I'm going to be covering the new skills available to Red Mage at level 60 that they didn't have at level 50. And hopefully, I'll be able to give you some information to help you play Red Mage at level 60 with some degree of usefulness. I won't be reiterating anything I covered in the 50 video, because that's the video to teach you all the general basics. This video is just to teach you about the new stuff. Without further ado, let's get into things. With, firstly, in traits, at level 60, we acquire Enhanced Intelligence 3. This increases your intelligence by 24, which further increases the already impressive damage Red Mage does. And now, for the uh, skills. At level 52, we acquire Mouliné. This is a global cooldown weapon skill with a TP cost of 600. It is a 6 yom conal attack in front of you with a potency of 60. If you have at least 30 black and white mana, it becomes Enchanted Mouliné. With that covered, let's go look at the Enchanted skills, because I did forget to actually show Enchanted Repost, Zverschau, and Redoublement in the uh, 50 video. Sorry about that. I'm stupid. First off, we have Enchanted Repost, which its global cooldown goes down to 1.5 seconds, and its potency goes up to 210. It will consume 30 black and white mana to use Enchanted Repost. And, yeah, that's a nice potency boost. Next, we have Enchanted Zverschau, which also has a cooldown, a recast of 1.5 seconds. And its base potency is 100, which is just what all weapon skills that have combos do. But its combo potency goes up to 290. Repost was originally 130, gaining 80 potency. Enchanted Zverschau's combo potency was 150, meaning it gained 140. It will consume 25 black and white mana to use Enchanted Zverschau. And Enchanted Redoublement has a 2.2 second recast, presumably to help you transition back into the standard global cooldown. Its base potency is, yet again, 100, but its combo potency is 470. Its original combo potency as Redoublement is 230. That's a very large potency jump. And it will consume 25 black and white mana. So to do a full single target combo, you will need 80 black and white mana. And Enchanted Mouliné, like most of the enchanted skills, has a 1.5 second recast time. And its potency goes from 60 to 200. Quite the upgrade. And it will consume 30 black and white mana each time you use it. So to get maximum effect, you're going to want at least 90 of both. Sorry about the clicking. That's just me muting my mic whenever my nose or throat acts up. But with the enchanted skills covered, let's look at the level 54 skill, Vercure. This is a global cooldown healing spell. It has a 2 second cast time, and it costs 442 MP at level 60. It is a potency 350 cure that is worth using, because unlike Summoner, this one actually heals people for a reasonable amount. At level 56, we acquire Contra Sixte. I probably butchered the pronunciation of that. This is a 25 yom range, 6 yom radius, AoE around your target. The tooltip is a little misleading as it says delivers an attack to all nearby enemies, whereas most targeted AoEs, like this one, it will be to target and all, and all enemies near it. Yes, this can be used at range, as the range suggests. It is a potency 300 attack on the first enemy. It loses 10% of its damage on the second, 20% on the third, 30% on the fourth, 40% on the fifth, and on the sixth or, and on the sixth enemy and beyond, it's dealing half damage. But it's still going to be worth using for AoE damage, no matter what. 
or just extra damage on a single target. At level 58, you get Embolden. This 2 minute cooldown is very nice. It has a 15 yom radius around you. Upon activation, it will increase your magic damage dealt by 10% and the physical damage dealt of all party members within range by 10% as well. Both of these effects are reduced by 20% every 4 seconds, meaning it goes from 10% damage up to 8% damage up, then 6, then 4, then 2, then it's gone. meaning it lasts for a total of 20 seconds. <laughs> it's a stacked buff. When you activate it, people will have 5 stacks of Embolden, and they will fall off every 4 seconds. Still very nice. And finally, at level 60, we have Manification, which is acquired through your level 60 job quest. It is a 2 minute cooldown, like Embolden, and what this does is it will double your current black and white mana levels. It will also reset Korra Core and Displacement so that you can immediately use them again. It will also cancel all uh, combos when you execute it, but you're not going to be executing this in the middle of using a me your melee combo. You're going to be executing it right after you finish casting uh, the spell that gets you to the mana level you want to double. <laughs> For example, you're on you're in a single target fight. You would get your mana to f about 40 40 and then use manification so you can leap in earlier than you would have otherwise. Do your melee combo and leap back out. If it's an AoE fight, presumably you could do it when you're at about 45 40 when you're at at least 45 45 so you can leap in triple moulin a leap back out <laughs> but with all of that covered let's go get to the demonstrations first off let's demonstrate for cure as with all spells it's affected by dual cast and as you can see you can heal someone for a pretty decent chunk considering I just healed myself for half of my maximum health. Alright. Next up, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to show off some AoEing. So, exciting AoE spam action! Oh, come on. Give me some freaking enhanced scatters so I can get to the right level of mana faster, you jerk game. Game says no. Well, fine. Cora Core. Enchanted Mulane. Yeah, you saw the damage I just did and then you displacement your way back out. Now I'm going to show you how much damage Moulinet ordinarily does. Significantly less. You're not going to want to be using your Moulinet, just like you're not going to want to be using Repost, Svershaw, and Redoublement on their own. You're going to want the mana to boost them up. But with all of that covered, it's time to demonstrate the uh, functions of... Manification and embolden. So let's build up enough mana to double my way to 80. Almost exactly enough. Okay, so. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to activate both of these because watch. Their cooldown is now reset. And now I'm going to activate Embolden, dash in.
There we go. Just felt like casting a couple more spells because I really enjoy playing Red Mage. <laughs> but that's effectively all of the new skills explained and demonstrated. But I'm going to go over a few things. Since Manification and Embolden are used essentially to allow you to go in and use your melee skills really faster than you normally would be able to after having already done it once, you can use <laughs> Embolden to, depending on the uh, type of DPS you have. If you have a lot of, if you have a few melee DPS, you're going to want to use Embolden after you've used Core or Core to dash in. That way, you're boosting their damage output so that they can kill things faster. If you have a lot of ranged physical DPS, or your party is mostly mages, or well, you basically just have no melee DPS. You can use Embolden at range to boost your spells. Either way, it boosts your attacks because all of your spells and weapon skills deal magic damage, as near as I can figure. Actually, let's go test that since it's about to come off cooldown. Yo, striking dummy. I'm just doing this so I have plenty of mana. So, that's an enchanted repost. Embolden. Enchanted repost. Enchanted repost. Regular repost. Sershao. Redoublement. Okay, so perhaps it doesn't boost your weapon skills. As it didn't appear to really change the damage they did. It will boost your spells, though. So, I guess actually what you'd want to do with Embolden is... If you have a lot of melee DPS in your party, you would dash in, do your melee combo, and before using Displacement, you would use Embolden, so that when you leap back, you have your buff and they have it too. If you have mostly ranged physical DPS, well, then you can pop it as soon as you're going to go back into spellcasting. And of course, Manification's uses are fairly obvious. They're literally to allow you to immediately go back to using your melee skills faster than normal. Contra 60 and Moulinet are, well, essentially a drastic improvement to your AoE damage, making Red Mage a force to be reckoned with in any form of engagement. And Vercure, you should be using to help out the healer during dire situations, or if you're about to be hit by an attack that's targeting you because random targets could come at you, you can spare the healer having to use some of their mana on you. Because while you may not be able to easily recover your mana, your healer is probably going to be going through their mana more rapidly than you will. So, don't be afraid to spam a couple heals on yourself. And don't be afraid to help the healer heal if things are getting nasty. Like, if the tank is about to take a tank buster... Once they do, you can help the healer get them back up. And then just resume doing DPS. It's a very short boost. It's a very short dip in your DPS. I'd say it's worth it to do something like that. Wouldn't you? Anyway, I hope this video has been informative and helpful. If it hasn't, well, I guess my crystals are just not in balance right now. Until my next video, goodbye.